Good morning. Today marks almost two years exactly since my wife Joy and I attended City Church for the first time. It was a virtual service amidst COVID, and we had newly returned to Houston after spending some incredible and transformative years in Boston. Since then, we've endured the most tumultuous and challenging season of our lives, characterized by numerous transitions, including a change in the season of life with the addition of a baby girl, moving to a new house and a new neighborhood within Houston, a new job for me, then a new role within that new job, then two new jobs for Joy, not to mention the entire uprooting of life and community from the Northeast to Texas. The one constant, however, has been the goodness and faithfulness of God in the gospel truth of him giving his son Jesus to die on the cross for us. Romans 8.32 says, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? We tried so hard to cling to this truth when our baby girl Celeste, on her fourth day of life, unexpectedly needed to be admitted to the neonatal ICU. I'm still struggling to cling to this truth amidst the uncertainty of my own career and life in the upcoming months and years. Christ is the anchor of our souls, although in this season, it's been really hard to see and really hard to feel on most days. In the midst of a lot of change and uncertainty, we're continuously reminded of God's faithfulness by our community here at City Church. We've been in two city groups and one focus group. They've each embraced and supported us from the very beginning and spoken words of encouragement and wisdom into our transitions in life, then pointed us back to Jesus' faithfulness time and time again. With equal importance, we've also gotten to see God's work in the messy and vulnerable aspects of her brother and sister's lives. Community fills the deeply needed role of reminding us about God's love despite changes in physical location or life circumstances. I'm a broken sinner in need of a savior, and I need to be reminded of God's faithfulness and love by other broken people who have also received the life-transforming love of a savior. Tish Harrison Warren wrote, the people who are winning at life see no need for a life-disrupting savior. The people of God are losers, misfits, and broken. I certainly don't feel like I'm winning at life, but I'm trying in a very messy way to learn to desire Jesus more than I desire certainty or control in my life. A lot of people here are genuinely trying to do the same, and I invite you to join us.